Hi Floppy Cutters! Today I'm going to do a video about how to set up the Litter Genie. So once you buy it from the store, it's sold at Target, I think Walmart, Petco, PetSmart, you want to take off the cardboard marketing part and then it lifts here in the center and inside you'll find one refill, a litter scoop, a litter scoop holder, and then the Litter Genie Getting Started Guide. So to start out, you want to get the litter refill ready. That I might not be following the exact instructions they have, but there's this little tab here, and you just pop that off to reveal the plastic bag that you're going to use. Sometimes that plastic bag, you wanna make sure you find the end of it because it's one continuous bag. There we go. So you leave that there, open up the top here, and then you have to pull up this part because the refill is gonna drop in here like that. But before you drop it in there, you pull it out enough so that you can make a knot. Somebody told me that they like to use a zip tie at the bottom of it, like a cable tie. Um, to not use as much of, of the bag that you would tie in a knot. But this knot is what's going to keep all of the feces and whatnot in the unit itself. So then you open up the latch door and push this down and then close this off. And it is ready to use as a trash can if you choose, or as a litter disposal, if you choose to use the Litter Genie litter scoop, this little holder goes on the side there. It goes on whichever side, actually. You can use it on that side, too. And so then when this is closed, then you can put the litter scoop right on the side there. And it's all set up and ready to go. As far as how it works, let's pretend like this is a big clump of urine or something like that. So you're going to open it up, put the clump in, and then open this up. And that's going to seal off the smell and everything from your nostrils. Then you're going to close that up. And once it's full, once you know you filled it up, then you just pop this open. You take this. And there's a little thing that cuts off the bag here. So you slide that underneath and that's your waste bag. And then you pull this out. As you might have seen, I pulled this out a little bit before I pulled the bag through because one time I did that and it cut the plastic on the bag, making it useless. So I always pull out this little trap door thing first, and then you're ready for the next round of use. One other thing, I actually don't care for this litter scoop. So I have a favorite litter scoop called the Litter Lifter, and a reader suggested that I just buy a command, you know, like a 3M command hook, put it on here, and then I can hang on my litter lifter on the side of it and that works out really well for us. So if you have a favorite litter scoop that you prefer to scoop your litter box with, that's great and you can do something like that just to have it all in one spot. After posting the video about how to set up a litter genie, somebody asked me to see the actual waste, if you will. So we have a litter locker, which is this white one. It is the same concept and idea as a Litter Genie, but it's only sold in Canada and certain parts of Europe. And I like it more. We reviewed it for Litter Locker, but I like it more because it doesn't open in the middle here. It opens at the top, which is so much more pleasant um, than opening in the middle. However, it has the exact same cartridges. It's the exact same size inside. So I thought that this would be just as good to show what it looks like. So it's Sunday night and or Sunday afternoon and this is uh, a week's worth of waste in here. 
And you can see I also throw away some of my items as well. So I will pull this out so you guys can see. All right, you also might have noticed, I talked about this in the setup video where you can buy a command hook and then just hang your preferred litter scoop on the side here. Mine is a litter lifter, so I'll link to that if you want uh, to check it out. So you lift this up and then cut it off where that scissor thing is. This one has the same one that the litter genie has. And then you pull out the waist. I um, usually try to tie it off just for smell purposes. And then I lift this out, pull it down to create the next bag for this coming week. I always pull out the guillotine a little bit so that it doesn't tear the bag. And then we're basically ready to go for next week. I always double check it and that's that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.